Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new add-ons feature in 19.1 uh, version of FileMaker. And the add-ons now support JavaScript. So let's just start with a brand new empty database. I'll just call it demo. And then keep the standard fields that are here. And so now we just really have just one table. Um, and what I'm going to do is go to layout mode. And in I have my three tabs up here, but the tab that we've had for a little bit is add-ons. I'm going to click plus in the bottom. And then we see some new ones here. So the first one we're going to look at is Kanban. And click choose. And then um, now the add-on is actually part of the file. So if I close and open the file, the add-on is there. So I need to make the add-on. Um, so if I grab this and dr drag it out, you'll see that it's a little bit bigger than fits. So I'll scroll and make the layout a little bit bigger to support it. Um, and there's also a button over on the right here that needs to fit too. So make it a little wider. Maybe a little wider yet. And then when we go to browse mode, it'll actually immediately start working. And that's because, and there it is, there's Kanban view. So let's bring this over to the left here. That's because it automatically brings in a sample data and all the configuration necessary for this to work. So if I go to the graph again, I'll see I now have two additional tables that got brought in, including some sample records. Um, and it doesn't require any relationships, but the, the tables are there. And what I can do is, in Kanban view, I can move things over from one column to the next. So I can just drag or move carpet over here to in progress, and then install lighting to done, for example. And then on each of these, if I just click on the record uh, for install lighting, for example, it'll pop up, um, and I can edit the record. So this layout that we're looking at, this is actually just a card window, and uh, I can go to my other regular FileMaker layout, and I can see this layout that, get you, that gets used. This is just the card window layout, so I can change this any way that I want. So for example, if the status is the more important thing, I can drag this down, drag status up, and move name over here, uh, and then just change it. So you can immediately start making changes. You can, within reason, you can name some of the fields, but know that the uh, configuration is actually set. Uh, and that's the next topic I wanted to show you is how do you configure this? Well, there's a little gear button in the top right corner. And if you click this, it brings up a different card window. And it's pre-configured for all the fields in the database. But there's these different um, tabs here that you get. And you choose the layout that you're going to use, the primary key, um, the title field. And then you have information for how you configure the lanes and the optional settings, uh, etc. So pretty cool, pretty simple. I would recommend that because everything is perfectly configured, it might be simpler if you're going to add uh, this to your system and you don't already have a kind of a Kanban, that you just use a sample um, table and then add whatever fields that you need. And I think that's probably a simpler way to do it. You know, clicking on this, you can see that my changes are saved and even with bad alignment of uh, fields. So um, that's Kanban view and one of the new add-ons in FileMaker Pro 19.1. It uses the JavaScript feature, so if I go to the layout mode, I see that this whole widget is just a web viewer, and it uses this new checkbox that came with FileMaker 19.0 that allows the web viewer to run JavaScript scripts. And then the code in here is really, really simple. It's um, a pretty small amount of code um, to call it. So pretty brilliant, pretty simple, and I'm very happy that it's here. Thanks for your time.